So today we're going to take a tour of South Sandusky Campground near Benton, Illinois. This campground offers more than 100 reservable campsites. Electrical hookups are provided to all the campsites. As we make our way into the campgrounds, you're going to notice there is a bike crossing that is part of the Wren Lake bike trail system. And then we're going to be coming up to the check-in. You, when you check in you would go to the right otherwise if you just come in and go and you would stay to the left the first section we're going to uh, tour is called the dogwood section sites 119 through 139 and as we're coming in the sites here on the right hand side are starting with 119 through 123 are full hookups water electric sewer for $26 a night um, also, there is a little bathroom here on the right hand side. I believe they are flush toilets. And these sites down here are electric only for $18 a night. And this campground is located on Run Lake, which is right there, part of it. And it's a 20,000 acre lake. And these campsites right here are still electric only for $18. Starting with sites 135 through 139, those are full hookups in this section, which I think that might be 135 right there or the next, this site right here. These are full hookups, again, water, electric, sewer for $26 a night. The nearest uh, shower house would be in the red bud section, which we are going to head there next. The red bud section are sites 140 through 160. These are electric and water for $20. And we're gonna make our way here to the bathrooms, the shower house, which is kind of weird. There's like three buildings. The ladies are on the left-hand side and the gentlemen's are on the right. The showers are on the left-hand side for the ladies and there's two stalls in there. Uh, that is. Uh, normal shower stall right there and then there is a handicap accessible there is a bench in there with some hooks and there is a lock on the door to lock so if you wanted to lock and have nobody else in there you can and then there's two bathroom stalls and the other building which would be the center building nothing fancy but all right now we're going to make our way to um, the red bud section these are like i said electric and water for twenty dollars uh, the sites some of them um, are on level some are on a decline some are on an incline some you'd have to uh, level side to side right there site 150 where that pop-up is that's a pretty nice site our site's right there, 152, and if you'd like to see a better look at site 152, um, I will provide a link down in the description below so you can go and take a look at that of our time here in the Wren Lake area. So we're going to leave the red bud section and the next section we're going to go to is the pine tree and that is sites 162 through 197. These are all full hookups, water, electric, sewer for $26 a night. I believe they are all except sites 172 and 173 that's just electric and water. Um, that's what they're indicating on the map, however. A um, little tight in here, um, but they're very nice sites. Like I said, just be prepared for leveling. Um, there's a site coming up here on the right hand side. Um, that one right there, it's pretty, no, that one is pretty um, a decline. That's a pull-through site right there. I believe that's site 174 or 170, 174 it was. So we're just going to make our way through this pine tree section. Um, there's a couple bathrooms in this area. Uh, the closest shower house would be um, in the Pin Oak area. And these are all full hookup sites along here. And they do, some of the sites offer um, an extra parking um, pad. So if you had a boat or extra cars, you would um, have a little extra space to park them.
and we're just going to continue on through this area and then the next area we're going to go to is called the pin oak area and the pin oak area is sites 199 through 220 they are all full hookups I believe it to be a newer section um, off if you were to continue straight there would be the shower house for this section and for the pine tree section um, like I said I I'm not sure if this is a newer section or if it is um, a section that they just upgrade it to all full hookups I'm not quite sure but it looks all relatively new campsites are very spacious in this area just a little disclaimer um, I have sped up this video two times um, just so we could get through it fairly quick so it it looks like I was driving pretty fast in there and I was not it's just the video is sped up so we're gonna go to the furthest section in the um, campground and this is the sycamore area this is sites 221 through 239 and they are electric only this section was closed off when we um, got there so um, I'm not sure why but we decided we were going to get out and walk this area just so we could um, include it on this video so you can see um, it is a little more um, confined in this area um, meaning there's not a lot of space in between the sites but they are nice sites relatively level in this particular area um, of this section they do have um, a pull through here and that is coming up here in site 227 I believe it is or 217 um, this site it's it's nice site but you don't really have a lot of privacy because of the site 226 is right there and then we're going to continue on to the back section of Sycamore these campsites back in this section I just never seen anything like this before it's like they have their own little concrete patio back there um, these sites did have a little bit of an incline to them um, but I just kind of found it odd that they had like their little areas um, some of the sites did have a little extra parking pad um, for boats or extra cars or anything and there is a playground in this section as well and now some of these there's an incline on this and it's also uh, not level side to side um, and I believe this site was also the same this is site 235 that was also the same site 236 here is kind of a neat site it uh, goes back pretty far pretty deep and it's pretty private and again it also has one of those concrete patios we're coming up to the shower house that looks fairly new so then we're just going to continue and make our way out of this sycamore area. We have a few more campsites. Now some of these campsites are on the decline. And that's the last site, I believe, site 239 in this section. So the Ren Lake Bike Trail runs through the South Sandusky campgrounds. The bike trail, I believe, is uh, right around 20 miles or, or so. And um, to my understanding, it is all paved concrete trails. We're gonna start making our way back towards the front of the campgrounds. But first we're gonna pull off in this little area um, down by the lake. There's a little area that they have that you um, is for boat mooring. Um, at first we thought it was a little beach, but um, uh, according to the map, it's a boat mooring area. So I just thought we would kind of show you that a little bit and where it's at located on the map. So we're just going to continue on back out towards the front of the campgrounds. Um, we were able to come up with some TV stations here while we were staying and we have AT&T cell service. We had a couple bars and it was LTE. And then we're going to be coming up here to the tent area. I think they have like 
maybe eight spots all along the water there. They look like nice sights if you're if you like to tent right along the water. And then we're going to be coming up to the parking area, which is not that far um, from the tent area. So you don't have to haul your equipment off too far. As we make our way out of the park, the dump station would be on your right hand side, right across from the check-in place. Um, didn't, did not get a very good shot of it, and that is also where the dumpster is to throw out your garbage. Well, that concludes the tour of South Sandusky Campgrounds. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Have you stayed at South Sandusky Campground before? If so, what's your favorite campsite? Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications so you're notified every time we release a new video. And as always, everyone, happy camping.